1976. The 22nd edition. It's even got Roman numerals. How posh is that? Very, very nice bit of graphic design there. Drawings all coloured in. And you've even got somebody there who looks like Peter Bowles. Look at that. And a laughing kid. With terrible hair. Bring on punk rock, I say. Let's have a look inside. So what we got? Oh, double page spread. Look at that. The majesty of steam. Quite nice because it puts puts the concept of size and scale into your mind straight away. A lovely picture. So Hornby Railways, how the magic is made. So it's a nice little feature there on how they they manufacture your locomotives. Look at that. Brilliant. And then Hornby Clockwork for the younger set. Look at that. That's in the days before Tartrazine. Well, they even letting their sister play with it. And the toddler brother. Do you know, if I was a kid in the middle, I'd say, you two can go. This is my train set. Leave it alone. You're going to break it, and you, you don't want to play with it anyway. Okay, so here we go. Electric train sets, where the magic really begins. Look at that battery controller. So that fits on the two of those massive, great batteries. Six volt batteries, two required, not supplied in the sets. It's the EverReady 996. I don't even know if you can still get those. That's mental. That costs you a fortune. Anyway, you can get the pickup goods set. Look, that's uh, there's one of those on eBay at the moment. It's only about 20 quid. I've still got a couple of days to run. And then some more electric train sets. A rural rambler set, the rail freight set, and the intercity mail action set. Okay, now gives you the track plans next set. Then top to bottom, you've got the Flying Scotsman set, you've got the Freight Master set, and you've got the GWR Freight set. Okay, now with the track plans, shows all the extras that you get with it. Although it doesn't really make a whole load of sense. So where the magic starts to grow, that, do you know, it looks like it's about to blow up a bridge, doesn't it? Wait for the train to come. That's what I want. That's what I want from Hornby. I want to be able to blow up my bridges. You know, I want a military train and a bunch of soldiers and to be able to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should take this more seriously. There we go. So this is how to how to build it all. So talking about chicken wire and papier mache, and then plus it. Now I did this once back in the. 1980s I guess I made a lovely chicken wire and papier-mâché uh, landscape which I left out in the barn to dry and uh, the following weekend when I went to grab it it had been half eaten by mice so that was the end of that I never did have a landscape layout was good and grow look at that I made a lovely old old pretty old thing there Gives you a good idea. It's nice, nice doing it as an aerial view, actually. Gives you an idea, and then it matches the track plans better. So, harnessing the magic. Electric power control. And here we go again. Some more, more artistry. Combining a bit of photograph on the hand there. In the majesty of steam. And this is nice, look. So you've got, you've got your line drawings. Imagine it's a bit of draftsmanship going on there. And he's got his... Got his tools, I don't know what they're called, calipers or following comes I don't know. I like that. All done with inches. Sketches showing Maunsell's modifications number 763792 and 793 to 806 East Lee. I mean that's brilliant. The new Hornby model features a simple coupling between locomotive and tender. Overlapping foot plate and magnet adhesion for improve, improved hauling performance. Brilliant. There we go. So there's a bunch of different engines there. That one's got a few carriages with it. And you've got a few more here, some great western ones. A little bit of a layout to give you some 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 ideas and some dreams. British Rail, heir to a proud heritage. Look, we've got some more line drawings here, some more drafts from ship. That's really good actually. I like I like that. That's a really lovely page. I like that. We go. We've got some more engines, some diesel engines. The power of diesels. So it shows you a load of diesel engines, and then those I would say are probably steam. 
<laughs> a majesty of steam and they put a diesel on there okay so that's kind of kind of cocked up a little bit silver seal traveling first class look at that here yeah, as i travel first class yes. Yes, I'm traveling to the studio where I'm going to be making one of the Emmanuel films, don't you know? This is the 70s after all. What do you think of my tie, old boy? Do you like it? Uh, tie and a cravat. Big kip a tie, cravat. Look, look at my wing collars. My big shiny belt buckle. Marvellous, marvellous. But I'm traveling first class, old boy, in a Pullman car. So, I'm going to buy some silver seal locomotives when I get to Hamleys or Beatties or somewhere. Anyway, we then go on to the coaches. Nice little selection there. Oh, here we go, a bit of freight. So let's have a look what we got that's new. New for 1976, the United Dairies Milk Tank Wagon. I think that's a really nice looking little wagon, to be honest. Different paint scheme, you've got the SO Tank Wagon. All the others uh, we've seen before. Different tankers. You've got the Kellogg's van, that's new for 76. The GWR brake van is new for 76. The insulated milk van and Palethorpe's pork sausage six wheel vans, they're new for 76 as well. So we go to another filler page showing some landscaping, bogey track maintenance vehicles. Operating accessories, a touch of magic. So there's your, your operating haul wagon set, operating mail coach set. Signal control systems, and there's uh, my mate Andrew Garner doing the business of pulling those. I don't know how many of you, of you watching this have ever actually been into a proper live signal box and tried pulling those, but they need a serious amount of effort. They take a lot of strength to actually pull those levers. So here's an idea of how to set up your signals for junctions. So you've got your distant and your home junction signals, and then your two home signals individual ones signal control sets the colored light signals station sets and accessories what we got here so the buffer stop and the trackside fencing and the level crossing with opening gates coming onto the platform and the bridge with the uh, ticket office and canopies and that. that's that's good cool. I, like, I like the drawings i like pictures this is a um, really nice catalogue actually. Tunnels and bridges. There we go. Brick viaduct, engine shed, construction kits. There we go. That shows you what you can do. But these are quite simple construction kits. You didn't have to paint them. They came in pre-coloured plastic. So that was quite handy. So you've got a good selection there. And a bunch of track. And then you come on the track accessories and the track plans. Hornby in the home. Look at that. Pulley system of spider webs. Roll out casters under the bed. That's a cool idea. Putting some drawers under and so on. So this is this is in the old days. This this Peter Bowles again. This is the old days and people knew how to use a saw and a and a a black and decker work mate and a set square and that i can't remember to be honest i can't even put up a, a shelf straight so here we go so how to make a baseboard how to prepare it for building laying the track laying the foundations and drilling and hammering and pinching with pliers and wiring and and um a yorkshire ripper looks a bit like old peter suck left doesn't it Look at that, look. That's all the evidence right there. Yorkshire River, hammer. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. There he is again, look. look. Hammering, hammering a, a little arrow gauge hooker. So here we go, uh, making the landscapes, bringing the layout to life with paint. Mm -hmm. Some little cartoon men. And the magic of miniature realism. I mean, look at that. That is is great. I mean, that's a really complex layout, and that's something that would bring joy to anyone. Imagine having that as a kid. Oh, you'd never play with anything else. You'd still be at home at the age of 64. Other Hornby hobbies. Fighting aircraft. The old Shackleton. 
we got here? It's a Javelin. Wow, Glossy Javelin. Meshmet 109 with the F4 Phantom down below. Our warship. Captain's Drake, Columbus and Bly. Look at that. That cool. Good, look at him. Super new way to collect stamps. Okay, so Hornby Sports Action Ad Pack. I didn't know that Hornby did stamps. Men of War and Ships of State. That's the old Minic ships. And then the rear page. Your Hornby Railways dealer is non-existent. So there you go. That's your 1976 catalogue. And actually, that's a lovely one, isn't it?